You won't believe how many times I get asked, what wood should I use for my outside door? Well, first off, I always recommend that everybody use woods that are indigenous to the country you're in. As the saying goes, when in Rome, you do like the Romans, we're in Canada, so we should use species of woods that are indigenous to our region, because they will put up with our difference in climate. We go from very harsh, cold, dry winters to very balmy, humid summer days. So the wood has to cope with all of that. Not only does it have to cope with all of that, on the same piece of wood, you have the exterior elements and the climate from outside, and on the inside, you have the comfort area at home, where we have this incredible HVAC system that maintains our humidity, our temperature. So, the inside of the door is climatized and climate controlled. The outside is putting up with our elements. So, how do you choose a wood? It all depends what you want to do and how you want to finish your door. Do you want to paint your door? Well, if you're only going to paint your door, I would recommend we go the economical route and we stick to a solid pine door. Just because of price point and economics. You're, you're going to paint the door, you're going to use a good oil-based primer, two great coats of paint on there, and then you should be fine. But those of you that want to see the natural beauty of the wood, how do we go about it? Well, pine can be varnished and stained, but it has a particular look. It's a very blonde wood. The other thing is, I would recommend that you go either with cedar or an oak. Now, what's the difference between the two of them? Well, everybody looks at it this way. Cedar, very soft. Oak, very hard, so a nice, rigged door. Uh, but there's benefits for having the soft wood. When you get into a cedar, just the softness and the porousness of its wood lets it put up with our elements. So, it does not expand, it does not contract. It's very amicable to whatever stain you give to it and the finish that you put on it. The bad thing about it is, and it's only one bad thing, is its own softness. So if it's a high traffic door where your kids are carrying in hockey bags or briefcases or science projects and they do manage to bump into the door, it will ding and mark very quickly. So that's the good thing. The other good thing about cedar is its life expectancy. It's a wood because of the acidity in it, it will not rot. So even if the door gets wet and you abuse it and not finish it properly, it will not decay on you. Then we get to the oak. The oak is more of a reddish wood. We use uh, red oak. And the good thing about the oak is just the part about the against the cedar. It's a hard wood. So you can bump into it, it will not ding, bang, or scratch. The bad side with the oak is this, it will expand and contract. So once you've installed your front door in your home, depending on what season it is, whether it's summer or winter and your carpenter is doing the installation, he has to take into consideration if the wood is at maximum expansion or maximum contraction. So if he's putting in the door and it's at maximum contraction and he leaves a very tight space on the side of your door, come summertime, the door will expand at 3 sixteenths of an inch and actually rub against the frame. That would not be the end of the world. He would have to just come back, refit the door, and then from there, it will always function at that point forward. So, and the price difference is very minimal between the two, they're very close. So it's a matter of opinion on what kind of wood you like and how much use you get through it. So that's my take on the types of woods you should use.